Hi, my name is James Crossley. I'm a senior at Oklahoma Christian University. This is my informative speech for oral communication class. My speech is called The Fundamentals of Pitching. I was a former player and pitching coach here at Oklahoma Christian in the mid-1990s. I earned all conference and all district honors. I also held the school record and saved the state for 20 years. During my time here as a coach and player, we set school records on the number of wins during the season. The fundamentals of pitching is critical in being successful as a pitcher. Pitching coaches and scientists tried for years to find out why some pitchers can throw harder than others. The first thing in fundamentals of pitching is the grip of the baseball slide. As you can see, the four seam fastball is the best way to hold the baseball so you can throw with velocity and control. If you hold the ball incorrectly, the ball will move and you won't be very accurate with your pitches. The second fundamental is your position on the rubber. Right handers usually stand on the left and the, right, and the left handers usually stand on the right. This is a piece of paper right here that simulates the rubber, a pitching rubber. Home plate is there and so if I'm a right hander, I like to stand on this side. If I'm a left hander, I like to stand on this side. <clears throat> the point of this is to create an angle to the batter. That way it's hard to hit the pitch, hard to hit the, the, the balls that are being thrown to you. <clears throat> I like to stand on the left, on the right side because I'm a left handed pitcher. There is only two ways to start on the mound. One is the wind up and the other is the stretch. The wind up usually stands like this with two feet on the rubber and the stretch stands with one foot on the rubber to the side like this and then that way nobody can steal bases on you or you keep them from stealing. If you go on the wind up, they can just take off when they want to take off. Everybody needs to learn to throw out the stretch so then they can uh, learn to keep the base runners close so they don't steal bases. <clears throat> the wind up is a more traditional way of standing on the rubber. Nolan Ryan, slide. Nolan Ryan is a Hall of Fame pitcher. And he used this technique. Nolan was a flamethrower. He got through 100 miles an hour in the 1970s and in the 80s. <clears throat> the windup helps you gain velocity. Aroyd's Chapman, slide. Aroyd's Chapman pitches for the Chicago Cubs, and he has thrown the fastest pitch ever recorded in Major League Baseball 106 miles per hour. And he throws from the windup. So today I will teach you the wind up. The third thing is we learn <clears throat> the fundamentals of pitching is the step. There's two different ways uh, to step. Going from wind up, either you can do a back step like this, or you can do a side step like this. So I like to do the side step because it helps me gain balance and helps me go towards home plate better. <clears throat> but it's only up to you on what's more comfortable to you. Next step is the positioning of the ball. Some people like to have the ball out of the hand. Some people like the ball inside the glove. I prefer it inside the glove. So it's whatever's more comfortable to you. Step five is the pivot and the leg lift. Once you pivot, it is time for the leg lift. The leg lift should come as high as your chest. So I can't get it up there anymore. Back when I played, my leg lift was about this high. So, Whenever you start your wind up, me and myself, I like to do the side step. So I do the side step. We call this the pivot. Your back leg is the pivot foot. And then the leg lift. I can't bring it up very high anymore, but I used to be able to bring it up. Anyway. <laughs> but <clears throat> be careful not to get out of balance when lifting your leg up. You don't want to lean to the right or the left. You want all your momentum to go towards home plate. <clears throat> Be sure to hold, show the hip pocket too whenever you do your pivot, your leg lift, and then show your hip pocket, and that way you can create more velocity going towards the plate. The next step, <clears throat> which is the stride and the foot strike. The stride should be as long as you are tall. This means you are driving towards home with your back leg, which is slightly collapsed. So here we go again. We start on the rubber with our wind up, ball in the glove or out of the glove, we do the side step, we do the pivot, leg lift, and the stride and the foot strike. Our stride should be as, as long as you are tall, and your foot strike should be pointed towards home plate. And you can see the torque that it's creating already. You don't stride with it closed because you're not creating a torque. So 
of it. Whenever you have everything going together, it creates velocity going towards home plate. <clears throat> um, when driving towards home plate after leg lift, the, mo the movement should take less than one second. So you're not just up there hanging around, you're up there making it, making it quick to, to, to throw it at home. <clears throat> and slide. The last step is the follow through. When following through, you should always finish with your heel to the sky. This helps you keep the ball down. This is an excellent slide of him getting his high leg lift and, and his foot strike being straight towards home plate and then his heel to the sky. So when I go through the wind up, I start my hands in the glove or out of the glove, side step, I bring my pivot, leg lift, stride, foot strike, and then heel to the sky. And that's how you should finish. So these are the fundamentals of pitching. My name is James Crossley and thank you for, for coming out. We didn't catch any